Okay, knees can be slightly bent here. Drop your head, make it nice and heavy. Hang on to opposite elbows, or you can even clasp behind your ankles if you'd like. And again, just shifting from right to left, little figure eights. Okay, good. And I know I mentioned earlier that my low back's been just like feeling a little testy. So I can also think of this less about the hamstrings, right? And if I bend my knees, I actually get a nice little stretch through the low back, okay? So, you know, you can kind of play with that by keeping your knees like bent generously, or again, you can straighten them. But kind of notice that it's not purely just a hamstring stretch, also a spine stretch as well. Good, release your hands, let's do a little chest expansion, and release your hands behind your back, roll your shoulders, reach your knuckles up over your head. Good, and again, any little free movement here, little play time to open up your chest, go for it. Good, now when you're ready, releasing your hands down, we'll bend our knees to roll up to come all the way up to standing. Take your time, arms reach up over your head, and exhaling hands at your heart center. We'll move through a sun A, inhaling, arms reach up over your head, exhaling, folding forward, forward fold. Inhaling to lengthen up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhaling, planting your hands, stepping back, plank pose. We're going to add on just a little bit here um, in our sunday, okay? So we're going to come into side plank on the right side. And again, side plank your way, okay? I'm going to lower down onto my forearm. I'm going to stack my feet, coming into side plank on the right side. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly come back to plank, okay? And then switch to the left side right away. So again, plank your, side plank your way, okay? Leg can be in front. You can lower your knee down. You can stay in high plank. Good, lower your hands back down to plank pose. Okay, pause for a moment. Exhaling, lowering all the way down, chaturanga your way. Again, straight legs, bent knees. We'll come up into baby cobra. So see if you can float your hands up off the mat first. Keep your focus down towards the ground. Legs are heavy. Good, exhaling, ground your hands, lift up a little bit higher if that feels okay. And then we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Good, one more breath, inhale and fill up. Exhale, empty out. Inhaling, looking up at your hands, traveling to the top of your mat. Lengthen up halfway, exhaling, folding forward. Inhaling to rise up to come up to standing. Exhaling, hands at your heart center. Inhaling, arms reach up. Exhaling, folding forward, forward fold. Inhaling, lengthen up halfway. Exhaling, stepping back, plank pose. Okay, we'll do those side planks again. Okay, left hand down. We'll Side plank to the left, and again, your way, however you want to do side plank today. Okay, I'll do a little variation here so you can kind of test it out, check it out. Good, exhaling, lower down, plank. And then right side, side plank. Again, take your time. Again, side plank your way. Knees down, elbows down, <laughs> hips up. Good, hands lower back down, plank pose. Pause for a moment, let your core kick in, and then exhaling, lowering all the way down, coming up into your back bend of choice. Again, baby cobra, upward facing dog, and we'll all meet back in downward facing dog. Slow your breath down here in Adho Mukha Shavasana, downward facing dog. How is your breath supporting you in your downward dog today? How is your breath guiding you through your sun A's? How is it helping you move forward in your practice? Looking up at your hands, traveling to the top of your mat. Lengthen up halfway, exhaling, folding forward. Inhaling to rise up to come up to standing. Exhaling hands at your heart center. 
Okay, last one, inhaling arms up, exhaling, folding forward. Inhaling, lengthen up halfway, exhaling, stepping back, plank pose. Okay, and then again, the little variations of side plank. Okay, right hand down, right forearm down. Again, any variation you'd like to take, maybe you challenge yourself by folding your leg, keep lifting those hips up high, exhaling, plank pose. And switching sides, left hand down, right arm up towards the sky, and again, side plank, your way, any variation. Keep lifting those hips. Good, hands lower down, plank. Pause for a moment, catch your breath, lower all the way down, Chaturanga Dundasana into your choice of back bend. Great, and again, we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Check in with your breath. Looking up at your hands, traveling to the top of your mat. Lengthen up halfway. Exhaling, folding forward, forward, forward. Inhaling to slowly rise up to come up to standing. Exhaling, hands at your heart center. Good, pause for a moment here. Okay, good. Single leg and mountain pose. Okay, so right leg just lifts up towards your chest. Okay, balancing on your left leg. Lift your knee up nice and high. And then very slowly step back, high lunge. There's no rush. Arms will reach up over your head when you're ready. Good. Take a nice big deep inhale here. Exhaling, lower your hands around your left foot. Okay, sink your hips. So, like, dip your hips, roll your chest, lift up through your upper back a little bit, heart center. Good. Straighten your left leg, just folding over, nice little hamstring stretch here. Okay. Good. Inhale in. Exhale out. Let's stay for one more breath. Inhaling in. Exhaling out. Good. Bending back into that left leg, stepping back, downward dog, your way. Okay, so skipping the vinyasa. Um, again, you can always take any variation you'd like. Looking up at your hands, traveling to the top of your mat. Lengthen up halfway, exhaling, folding forward, forward fold. Inhaling to rise up to come up to standing. Exhaling, hands at your heart center. Single leg mountain pose on the left side. Left knee lifts up towards your chest. Balance, feel strong and sturdy. Step back, high lunge. Again, take your time. Try not to rush through it. Notice how you're transitioning as you land, reaching those arms up over your head. Good. Feel rooted and grounded through your feet. Lift up a little bit taller. Take a nice big deep inhale in. Exhaling, hands around your right foot. Dip your hips, roll your shoulders, lift your chest and your heart, shine your heart forward. Good. Inhale in. Exhale, straighten that right leg, wide leg pyramid pose. Good, right knee bend, stepping back, downward dog, your way. Inhaling, looking up at your hands, traveling to the top of your mat. Lengthen up halfway right away. Exhaling, folding forward, forward fold. Inhaling to slowly rise up to come up to standing. Exhaling, hands at your heart center. Okay. Big toes together, heels just slightly apart. Buka toss in a chair pose. Okay, bend your knees, lower your hips. Let's reach our arms forward today, okay? Um, I kind of like this because, you know, we kind of get a little bit more space through our chest. We're not really worried about our, like, what our arms are doing. 
we can reach them right out in front of us and we can sit back a little bit more. Okay, and then really small, we're not gonna do this very long, but just sink down an inch and up an inch, just kind of activating your quads, see if you can get your glutes, those hamstrings to kick in, just by this little small movement of moving down an inch and up an inch. Keep squeezing those inner thighs in. Oh, this kind of reminds us of our boat pose, okay? <laughs> Let your abs kick in. Okay, exhaling, fold forward, forward fold. Inhaling to lengthen up halfway. And again, stepping back, downward dog your way. Okay, left leg steps forward, okay? Warrior one, arms reach up over your head. Take a nice big deep inhale here. Exhale out. Inhaling in. Exhaling out. One more breath. Inhale in. Exhale out. Opening up into warrior two. And again, make any adjustments you need to in warrior two. Okay. Yeah, widen those legs out. Good. Three deep breaths here. Okay, so inhaling in. Exhaling out. Feel support through your legs. Let your spine grow taller, longer. Sit up a little bit taller. Good, reverse warrior. Left palm flips up towards the sky. Good, extended side angle. Left forearm down, right arm up over your head. Great, good, reverse warrior again, okay? This is just for transition. Reach back. And then cartwheel your hands around your left foot to step back. Downward dog your way again, okay? And again, use your breath. Let your breath support your movement, support you in your practice and what you're choosing to move through today. Let it support you in what you're choosing to skip. Okay, good. Right leg steps forward, warrior one. Good, arms reach up over your head. Okay, so just in our warriors, we're holding for three deep breaths. So again, root down through your feet, lift up, sit up taller, square your shoulders a little bit more. Bend into your right knee a little bit deeper. Good, opening up, warrior two. And again, any adjustments you need to make, <laughs> I like to kind of open my stance up a little bit wider. Good, and again, root down, feel grounded through your feet. Feel yourself rise up through your spine. Three deep breaths. Let your breath support you. Good, reverse warrior, right palm flips, reaching back. Keep a nice big bend in that right knee. Extended side angle, right forearm down, left arm up towards the side. Okay, and again, reverse warrior. Stay nice and low in that right knee, reach back. And then again, slowly framing your hands around your foot. Okay, stepping back, downward dog, your way. And then looking up at your hands, traveling to the top of your mat, take your time. Lengthen up halfway, exhaling, folding forward, forward fold. Ukatasana chair pose, bend your knees, lower your hips, reach your arms forward, sit back, kick your core and belly button into your low back, into your spine, root down to rise up, mountain pose, hands at your heart center, and just close your eyes here for just a moment. Slowing your breath down. And coming back to all that space you created in your body, in your breath, in your mind. Okay. All right, single leg mountain pose. Here we go. Kind of piecing everything together. 
Right knee lifts up towards your chest. And again, arms can be wherever you need. And again, this is where you can use um, the wall, <laughs> your radiator, whatever you have, okay, um, to help with your balance if you need it. Tree pose, just bringing that right foot up or down. You can place it wherever you'd like if you like. Higher or low, below the knee. Hands can stay at your heart center, or maybe your hands and arms float up towards the sky. And again, just balance. Let your gaze be soft. Maybe even lift your chin up a little bit higher than normal. We're going to come back into that single leg mountain pose. Okay, so right knee towards your chest. Kicking back warrior three. Okay, airplane arms. Arms can go up over your head. Hands can stay at your heart center. And again, just balance here in warrior three. Toes down, heel up. Great. Step back, high lunge. Arms reach up over your head. Let your spine grow longer and taller. Take a nice big deep inhale here. Exhaling hands around your left foot, straighten your left leg, hamstring stretch. Moving into warrior one, take your time. Right heel grounds, arms reach up over your head. Good. Straighten that right leg even more to help lift your spine up even taller. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Extended side angle. Oh, that should feel really good. Okay, good, you guys. And I'll take a little break here. Okay, come back into your two. Straighten your left leg. Triangle pose. Reach those left fingertips forward. Okay, maybe they lightly touch your shin bone, your ankle, right arm up towards the sky. Okay, staying here, okay? This is totally optional, okay? You can bring that left hand to your heart center. Good. Maybe it comes up for just a second and you can tap back down when you're ready. <laughs> Okay, good, you guys. Okay, from here, we're going to come back into warrior two, okay, to straighten, again, that uh, left leg, turn those left toes in, and then fold forward, nice big forward fold. Woo, that should feel really good after all of that. I'm just going to open up my bar and here and get a little more light in here. Good. Yeah, and then feel free, you know, to kind of play here if you want to bend your knees a few times. Okay, hang out to opposite elbows and come into chest expansion. Okay, great. Let's walk our hands under our shoulders and we'll walk our hands towards our left leg again. Okay, so we're just going to walk our hands around. We're going to dip our hips. Okay, roll your chest, your shoulders, your heart. And then again, we're going to step back, downward dog, your way. I know it feels like a lot of vinyasas, but again, they're all optional. Okay, I wanted to kind of throw everything in so people have the choice um, of what they needed tonight, okay? I know that child's pose is always an option. Okay. Okay, when you're ready, you're gonna travel up to the top of your mat. Lengthen up halfway. Exhaling, folding forward, forward fold. And slowly rise up to come all the way up to standing. Exhaling, hands at your heart center. Okay, we'll move to the second side right away, okay? So single leg mountain pose, left knee up towards your chest. Balancing here. Root down to your big toe, your big toe knuckle, your pinky toe. Tree pose. And again, you can place your foot anywhere above or below your knee, or you can kind of just let your leg land wherever it needs to, okay? You don't have to place it there. 
And again, just balance. Hands can stay at your heart center or arms can reach up over your head. Maybe your gaze lifts. Soften your eyes, soften your shoulders. Feel tall here. Left knee towards your chest. Shifting back, warrior three. And again, arms can be wherever you like them to be. Airplane arms, hands at your heart center, arms up over your head. Toes down, heel up, engage your core, balance. Stepping back, high lunge, take your time. Good, inhaling in, exhaling, hands around your right foot, straighten your right leg, wide leg pyramid pose. Okay, good, moving into warrior one. Again, take your time, ground your left heel, arms reach up over your head, and then really feel yourself root down into that left pinky toe, that right heel to lift your spine up even taller. Good, warrior two. Okay, here's our flow, reverse warrior. Extended side angle. Good, reverse warrior. I don't know, maybe I add an extra one in. Okay, warrior two, straighten your right leg, triangle pose. I guess it doesn't hurt to be a little extra one, right? Okay, so right fingertips down on your shin or you know, somewhere kind of on your ankle. Okay, it's gonna help kind of keep that lift through the right side as you reach your left arm up towards the sky. Okay, good, and again, this is totally optional. Right hand to your chest, to your heart center. Keep lifting, try not to collapse into this right side. You want to really root down, lift up through your spine. Good, place your hand down, come back into that warrior two. Straighten your right leg, turn your right toes in. Exhale, fold forward, forward, fold. Yeah, and again, anything you want to do here to play. <laughs> Bending your knees, straightening your legs. Okay, good. And then slowly release your hands back under your shoulders. We'll rise up. We're going to walk our hands around our right foot. So we're going back to the top of our mat. We're going to sink your hips, come into that high lunge. Okay. So sink your hips, roll your chest, your heart forward. And then stepping back, downward dog, your way. Okay, let's take a nice big deep inhale in through our nose and then a big exhale out through our mouth. And then inhaling in through your nose, seal your lips, exhale out through your nose. Okay, now we're gonna get to do our like yummy stretches, okay? <laughs> so right away, we're not gonna um, step forward. Let's just step this right foot forward in between our hands, okay? We're gonna lower the back knee down. Okay, and then right away, let's come into um, just half split, okay? So straighten this right leg, lift those toes up towards the sky. Okay, let's bend into this right knee. Okay, I'm gonna really dip my hips. I'm gonna walk my right foot over to the right so that my hips have somewhere to go. And then I'm gonna bring my right hand on top of like my quad so I can twist here, okay? Um, so, um, so instead of being like kind of closed off here in your um, lunge, you can kind of open up your stance so your legs are like really wide so you have somewhere to go and then again twisting to the right. Okay. And then you can stay here, okay, or if you want to, you can come into the quad stretch, bending that left knee, grabbing your toes or your ankle, or even just keeping it bent. This is a big enough stretch without even grabbing here. Woo, quad stretch. <laughs> Gotta throw that in, okay? <laughs> Okay, good. Let's go ahead and release. Okay, 
Okay, we'll shift back into tabletop. If you want to come into downward dog, you can. We're just going to go straight into the other side, okay? So left foot steps forward. Okay, you're in your low lunge here at first. It's a prep or half split. Okay, so shifting your hips back and over your right knee, flexing through your left toes. And again, hips are a little bit more square here. Okay, and again, leg does not have to be totally straight. You might get a deeper stretch with, you know, your left knee bent. Might be a little hard to see, okay. Bend back into this left knee. I'm going to walk my left toes just out to the left so that I can dip my hips really low here. My left hand comes onto my quad. I'm going to spiral and twist. Okay, feeling this nice release all the way up through my spine. And again, I'm kind of letting my hips go. Okay. And then again, if you want to add the quad stretch here, we'll do the quad stretch. I find that this quad stretch is a little bit easier in this position because my hips are a little bit more open. I'm not, you know, kind of staying super square to the mat. I'm letting kind of everything kind of open up. So I can get into my quad stretch better this way. Okay, so just something to play with in your low lunge here. Okay, go ahead and release your foot. Okay, and then we're going to press, um, let's, um, Let's just press back into child's pose, okay? Big toes together, knees out nice and wide, shifting your hips back and down. Okay, good. And we're going to slowly come on up, okay? And we're going to take a seat, okay? Um, I'm going to, I'm not going to face you guys. I'm going to still face up towards the top of my mat, um, just because we're going to kind of move around a little bit in this little stretching sequence. Um, I'm just trying to think of which direction is better for you guys. Okay, so we're going to start with our, our right leg forward. We're going to bend our left knee in, so it's like we're coming into tree pose, okay? So my left foot is in my right inner thigh. My hips are, you know, somewhat square to the top of my mat, okay? And again, right leg's forward. Let's reach your arms up over our head, okay? And then exhaling, start to fold over this right leg. You can grab onto your pants, um, your ankle, the outer edge of your foot, um, okay? Just coming into this nice hamstring stretch, okay? On the right side. Let's take for a few more deep breaths here. And don't worry where you're at. You're exactly where you need to be. Don't overdo it. Just follow your breath. Okay, great. From here, we're going to slowly come on up, okay? Now we're going to open up our hips a little more, okay? So now I'm going to open up so my hips are a little bit maybe a little more diagonal and then I have a little bit more space. So if I stretch this leg out, I'd be in a nice wide straddle, but we're going to keep this um, left leg still in, okay? Right hand is going to come onto your ankle, okay? I have like really long arms, okay? Um, and I'm a little uh, more open this way. I can bring my hand across to my knee, to my left knee. So again, you kind of choose what feels best for you. We're gonna reach this left arm up over our head, okay? And we're just gonna lean over to the right. This nice big side body stretch, okay? And again, you don't have to have this hand touching your leg. You can reach it over towards your foot if you feel deeper stretch that way, okay? I've been taking class um, with this woman and she's been giving some really cool cues, okay? So I'm gonna kind of try to show, do some of them for you, okay? So this top hand, I'm gonna bend it and place it behind my head. And I'm gonna press my head into my hand and then I'm gonna lean back into my hand a little bit more so my chest actually stays more open rather than if I stretch my arm forward, my chest drops, okay? So I'm gonna bring my hand behind my head so I get a big heart opening up towards the sky and maybe a deeper side bend stretch, okay, over towards the right, through the left side. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can play with that, just something 
just kind of add to our repertoire, okay? <laughs> okay, slowly come on up. Woo! All right, okay. Now we're just gonna get fancy. We're just gonna go into pigeon pose on this left side. So just be mindful of your knees. Okay, I'm going to just kind of roll over here. Okay, I kind of have to pick myself up because I'm sticky on the mat. And then now we're on pigeon on the left side. So square your hips, blankets, bolsters, pillows, whatever you need to uh, lower down. And we'll come onto our forearms here for our pigeon pose on the left side. Okay. And again, forearms can be underneath you, okay? Or you can start to walk your hands forward, getting a little bit deeper into the stretch. Arms can also move out to the sides. Okay, whatever feels good here. Um, we're gonna stay um, for about like a minute and a half. If you wanna do a thread the needle, you can bring this right arm under your left. Um, and you know you can kind of do the same little bind or twist that we did at the beginning of class. It's totally up to you, okay? Again, lots of options. Yogi's choice, okay? Okay, really enjoy this time of finding stillness. Okay, we moved a lot in our practice today. So be with your breath. Stay in the moment and just breathe. to bring your hands under your shoulders. We're gonna come on up, okay? Now we're still gonna get fancy here, okay? <laughs> we're gonna bring this right leg around again. Just be mindful of your back knee. Okay, we're gonna bring this right leg around. We're gonna cross it up and over the left leg. Oh, I told you we're getting fancy and now we're twisting, okay? Left hand, or excuse me, left arm can reach around the right leg to reach this, excuse me, right hand back. Okay, or again, you can bring your elbow towards your knee and then really kind of crank it out if that feels good for you, okay? And then here we are in our seated twist, okay? And again, for any reason this doesn't feel good, this bottom leg, your left leg can always be straight, okay? And it's the same thing, okay? So you can straighten your leg or you can keep it bent. Okay, good. Exhale, release. Okay, and we're just gonna stay on this side because we're right here. Right knee's gonna stay in, left leg's gonna reach out, and then here's your little tree pose, squaring off to the top of your mat if you decided to stay that way. Arms reach up over your head, and then we're coming into the hamstring stretch on the left side. So fancy, everybody, yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I might have to keep this little, little series for us going here. I like this little, um, Kind of rotating around the mat here in a little 180. <laughs> okay. okay, be patient. Let this left side catch up with the right side. Don't force anything. Again, stick with your breath. Okay, you may even feel just a little bit more open on this side already because we did some hip openers and twisting. Um, so you may already start to feel a little bit of a difference on this left side. Okay. Let's slowly rise up. Okay, and now we'll open up our hips. Okay, and then we'll come into that side body stretch. Okay, so left hand's gonna come onto your ankle or your knee if you choose to. And this is again to help kind of lift and shine your heart up towards the sky as you reach your right arm up and over for the side bend over to the left. Okay, and again, you can choose to do something different with this bottom arm, whatever feels good for you, okay? Good. And then again, if you wanna join me and add a little stretch here, hand will come behind your head. 
You'll press your head into your hand. You'll start to lift up, so you're gonna find a little bit more lift through the left side, and you wanna lean back as you lean over to the left. Maybe going a little bit deeper, maybe feeling a deeper stretch. Okay, and you can kind of float back and forth with straightening your arm or keeping it behind your head. I even feel my abs kick in a little bit here too, so I start to engage um, my body a little bit more so I'm not in this passive stretching, okay? I'm in this like really strong active stretching to help support my joints and my ligaments and my muscles, okay? So staying a little bit more active as I'm stretching here. Okay, good. Let's come on out of this nice and slow, okay? And then pigeon pose on the right side. Okay, and again, just be mindful, um, kind of rolling over here onto the right side. And again, make any adjustments as you need to. Lowering your hips down, okay. And then taking your time as you lower down onto your forearms. Arms can be out in front of you. Arms can reach out to the sides. And then again, if you chose to come in to thread the needle, and again, you know, we're gonna stay here for about a minute and a half. So feel free. You do not have to actually find complete stillness, okay? Um, if you want to move through different postures, go for it, okay? It's really just about finding um, that slow flow in your body and in your breath, okay? So we're not doing like that dynamic movement anymore. We're finding that stillness, the subtlety of our breath, holding the postures, and again, mindfully moving into whatever arm positions we took on the first side for the second side, okay? So creating that balance. Going back to, you know, how are you bringing in self-care? How are you doing right by your breath and your body by practicing tonight? By practicing yoga at all? How are you connecting to the earth? that helps you and allows you to stay present in the moment. Slowly take your time. Start to bring your hands under your shoulders. We're going to lift up. And again, be really mindful here. Okay, as you shift over to the right, bring this left leg around. Okay, I feel like I have to move like really slow on the side for some reason. Okay, so um, left leg's going to cross over your right knee. We're going to twist. Okay, seated twist. Right arm can come around, left hand can reach back. And again, if you like to twist with your elbow to your, your knee, go for it, okay? Um, whatever feels good for your body, okay? Okay, good. Thanks everyone. Okay, slowly release. Okay, and then now I'm gonna face you guys just so I can um, go on the, the long length um, of my of my mat, <laughs> of my slide, of my mat, okay? And now we're gonna do our legs out nice and wide here, okay? This should remind you of that wide leg forward fold. Um, okay, and then just be mindful um, 
you know, your legs don't have to go as wide as your mat. Okay, you can short, you can know, you can make your legs a little bit more of a V position. Okay, um, but just notice if your knees want to roll, um, your legs want to roll out. Okay, or some people's knees want to roll in. You want your knees just pointing up towards the sky. Okay, and really feeling anchored through your sit bones. And then again, you can just reach your arms forward, however you like. Okay. Um, there's no need to bring your forehead to the floor, your chin, chin down there. You can bring your elbows underneath you and place your chin in your hands if you'd like, okay? It also might look like this with your arms straight, okay? Wherever you are is perfect, okay? It's right where you need to be. No one needs to look like me, okay? Um, or the person you're practicing next to, okay? Again, just stay with your breath, stay with what you need to fill in this nice big stretch for yourself. Okay, maybe while you're here, maybe see what it feels like to engage your quads. Maybe you lift up through your kneecaps a little bit. Does that change the stretch for you? Okay, good, release your hands. Slowly start to walk in and then use your arms to help Guide your legs together. Okay, we're going to make our way onto our backs. Okay, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Oh, okay, I hope we were nice and even, everybody. We did everything on both sides. Okay. <laughs> if not, we maybe did an extra reverse warrior that won't kill us. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's come into happy baby pose. Arms at the insides of the legs to grab the outsides of the feet or the ankles, or again, you can always grab behind the knees if that feels good here. Lengthen your spine onto the mat, so let your tailbone be heavy. Good. And then let's release your legs down. And then we're just gonna do one little bridge pose here, okay? So let your feet and your knees be hip distance apart. Ground down through your feet. Inhale, lift your hips up towards the sky. Coming into bridge pose, okay? And then when you're here, stay here, or you can start to walk your shoulder blades underneath you to interlace your hands behind your back to come into the bind if you'd like. Check back in with your breath. Hug your knees and inner thighs in towards the midline. You won't touch, but just guiding everything in. If you're in the bind, you're going to keep your hands interlaced. You're going to lower your spine onto your arms. Lower your hips down onto your arms. And if it feels okay, you'll stay here, okay, with your knees bent. That's fine. Or you can straighten your legs. Okay, this is kind of like a baby um, fish pose, okay. <laughs> but it's really more just about the shoulders opening up. I'm going to bend my knees back in one at a time, lift my hips up just about halfway to release my hands, and then I'm going to slowly lower down onto my mat, and then I'm going to take my time shifting into Shavasana. Okay. So legs out nice and wide. You can shift your legs around a little bit, give them a nice little shake. Turn your palms up towards the sky. Let the ground, the earth support you. As you breathe in the benefits of your practice.
slowly start to deepen your breath. Shifting your head from side to side. Stretching your arms up over your head when you're ready. Good, and then making your way just onto your side. And come on up to a seated position. Good, yeah, take your time, there's no rush. Good, and join your hands together at your heart center. Take a nice big deep inhale in through your nose. Big exhale through your mouth. 